What is up guys, it's Cal, and now I recently posted a video showing off the Dark Iron Dwarf starting zone, which is known as Shadow Forge City, and the way I got there was by using their new racial ability called Mole Machine. And this allows me to teleport to three places on the Eastern Kingdoms to begin with, which are Iron Forge, Stormwind, and Shadow Forge City. Just uh, taking a look at it here. Easter Kingdoms, and it shows them right here, Iron Forge, Storm, and Shadow Forge City. Well, there are apparently other areas around Azeroth, and well, even Outland and Draenor, that you can unlock for your mold machine to teleport to, which is on a 30 minute cooldown, making this probably the greatest racial in the entire game. I mean, seriously, between Fireblood and Mold Machine, I'd have to say the Dark Iron Dwarves have the best racials. But anyways, in this video I want to show you the locations of all these mole machines around World of Warcraft for you to unlock for your racial. But before I do that, I want to give a shout out to the WoW Secrets Discord community and the Mead Hall Dwarven community on the US server Wormrest Accord for finding all these locations. So anyways, let's get started. So first up we're going to start on Kalimdor and we're going to be in Mount Tajal. So up north in Kalimdor, Mount Tajal, this is where it is. So you can just come to this location on your map in Mount Tajal, which is uh, right next to Firelands, Soulfront Spires. And then you'll see this dire, dark, or dark iron mole machine here. You click on it, and uh, well, I guess, I guess I learned it. The gear went away. The second mole machine location is in Southern Barrens. It's actually at the very north tip of Southern Barrens, right beside Honor's Stand, like this thing right here. And there's a second mole machine location. Now the fourth Dark Iron Mole Machine, which is actually the last one on Kalimdor, is in Ungaro Crater, all the way down here, and it is, uh, here, and it is right at the southern point of Fire Plume Ridge, right here. So just click that, and you'll get that location. The fourth location, we are on Eastern Kingdoms now, and we're in the Hinterlands, so this is right, yep, Hinterlands, and it's right here at Area Peak by Wild Hammer, uh, whatever this is called. Which makes sense. Dwarf, th dwarf themed place. So click this mole machine to get this location. Mole machine 5 is actually in Black Rock Mountain. So here I am in Black Rock Mountain right outside the Black Rock Depths instance. So it's right here. Dark Iron Mole Machine. We're gonna click that to get this location. The sixth and final spot on Eastern Kingdoms for the mole machine is in Blasted Lands. All the way down here. And Netherguard Keep. So it's kind of towards the back of Nethergar Keep for this Dark Iron Mole Machine. For Dark Iron Mole Machine number 7, you can take the portal right into Outland, go up to Blades Edge Mountains, and we are at the uh, northern point of it, right up here, for this mole machine. The 8th Dark Iron Mole Machine and the final one in Outland, there were only two in Outland, is in Shadow Moon Valley. So it's to the north of the Hand of Gul'dan, right here, at this location, by these... Uh, this green pool. The ninth Dark Iron Mole Machine is in Dragonblight, so we're in Northrend now. Dragonblight, and it's in the Ruby Dragon Shrine to the west of Wormrest Temple. Just click that for your ninth Dark Iron Mole Machine. Then the tenth Dark Iron Mole Machine, and the last one in Northrend, so there are only two in Northrend again, is in Ice Crown, North Ice Crown, by the Argent Tournament, north end of it, by the Alliance Hut. I believe, yeah, this is the Alliance Hut. So click this for your tenth. Dark Iron Mole Machine. The 11th Dark Iron Mole Machine, we're in Pandaria now, in the Valley of the Four Winds, and it's right beside the Storm Stout Brewery, to the west side of it, right here. The 11th Dark Iron Mole Machine. Dark Iron Mole Machine 12 in Pandaria, it's the last one in Pandaria, is in Kunlai Summit. So it's right beside One Keg, right below One Keg, right here. So look that for the 12th Dark Iron Mole Machine. The 13th Dark Iron Mole Machine, we are in Draenor now, in Nagrand. So, north point of Nagrand in the Elemental Plateau. So, up here. This is the 13th Dark Iron Mole Machine. And then the 14th Dark Iron Mole Machine, which is the last one in Draenor, is in Gorgrond. It's uh, just southwest of Blackrock Foundry. It's right here, south of the pit. There's the 14th Dark Iron Mole Machine. Now, we only have two more left. So, the 15th Dark Iron Mole Machine, we're in Broken Isles and High Mountain, right here, right above the uh, Frost Hoof Watch. This is the Path of Holm. I guess that's what this place is called. And it's right in front of this cave, uh, kind of hidden behind these trees. So click that for the 15th one. And then the final 16th Dark Iron Mole Machine is on the Broken Shore. So here we are, right at this location. And we're just going to click that to get our last uh, location for the Dark Iron Mole Machine. For the Dark Iron Dwarf Racial now, that we've clicked all 16 locations. 
Let's summon up the Mole Machine and see where it can take us. Now we can go Eastern Kingdom, Kalimdor, Outland, Northrend, Pandaria, Draenor, Broken Atlas. So now it has all, all of everything. And it's on a 30 minute cooldown. So as I said at the beginning of this video, probably one of the best racials in the game. Dark Iron Doors just have really good racials to begin with. And once again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, huge shout out to the Secrets Fighting Discord community and the Mead Hall Dwarven community on Wormrest Accord US server for finding all these locations. But anyways, guys, that's the entire video. If you're watching this before BFA comes out, so you don't have your Dark Iron Dwarf yet, then you might want to bookmark this video, but chances are you might watch this after BFA. So those are all of the 16 locations for your Dark Iron Dwarf racial if you guys like this video if it was helpful at all to you you can leave a like on it you can sub to the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video